So this is in chapter 3 of your textbook, but I want to specifically focus on a couple areas with triads and inversions. So first of all, let's remember a triad is just the three notes. And the root note is the bottom. Then one, two, three, four, five. So it's the root, third, and fifth. That is one way to write a chord in what we call root position. We can then take those and change the order of the notes. It has a slightly different sound. You should test it on the piano. But it's the exact same notes, just in a different order. So the first inversion, and it's called first inversion, is to take the third and leave it on the bottom. Then we can do the fifth, and we can do the root on top. That's first inversion. Then second inversion is going to be the fifth on the bottom, root, and third. This gives us root position, first inversion, second inversion. It's a little different when you go to seventh chords because there are now four notes to work with. So I'm going to skip down a little bit. You have a C major seventh, and this is going to be in root position. If you look at it, it's the root of the chord, third, fifth, and seventh. The order is going to change. I'm going to put the third on the bottom, the fifth, the seventh. Now watch what I do with the root. I'm going to move it to the side so they don't conflict. So it's third, fifth, seventh, and root. This is now first inversion of a seventh chord. Second inversion is going to be fifth, seventh, root, and third second inversion and then there is a third inversion because there's four notes four possibilities root first inversion second inversion and third inversion so now the fifth or excuse me the seventh is going to be on top and it looks like that fifth excuse me i'll mess that up It's going to be 7th, root, 3rd, and 5th. This gives you all the different inversions of triads and 7th chords. I hope that helps a little bit.